or this to turn live? Oh, we're live. Hi. Yeah, we're mm -hmm. live there, there. I'm just going to turn that down. Yes, thank you. We're live there, here, and there. Is right, that's turned on. Okay. You smelling something? No, I'm breathing. I'm relaxing myself. All right, okay. Right, so, whoa. Hi to everyone who's currently watching if you're already hopping on, just hopping on now. Don't mind me, I'm just going to hop onto my phone. Hi, Angela. Hi, Angela. And link it to people to say we're live. From either communities or personal message, for those who were trying to tune. So, bear with me one second. While I do that, if you want to shuffle the cards, you're more than welcome. So, howdy, howdy, howdy. This is our Friday night. Um, so, for those that don't know, normally on Friday nights, uh, half seven GMT, myself and William will will go live. Now, just a little bit of, how will I put it? Honesty, relating post here. I have something coming up over the next couple of weeks. So, I'll be taking a little back step. And it's going to be so fucking excited. But to give William his credit, he's been doing an awful lot of work behind the scenes. Haven't you? I believe so. <laughs> yes. I've, I've tried to ground in this stuff. Yeah, so while you guys have been able to see even a taste of what he's been getting up to, seriously, these are going to be blown away. But I won't say any more than that. But when the time comes, you will know. You will be drawn. So, welcome, welcome, welcome tonight. Um, as usual, can I request that, you know, you write in the comments, like, let's get the energy going for a Friday night. I am, have to say, pretty stoked because I've been just feeling good of late. Um, so, yeah, just comment where you're from, if you'd like a card, and if by any chance you'd like some light language, um, yeah, just put it in the comments. I know, answer it, seriously. Oh. For example, uh, I in the west okay in the western world for some, some may, may tune in we I don't know if it's us I have a feeling it's not just us I feel says there's a lot of people but when they have a look at what stuff we do or some of the work we do behind whether it's either public or behind the scenes they're like what's that what's this what's energy and such and such and I know when I'm talking about that we're nearly talking about I suppose what some would call sleepers. So people mm. who either yet to wake up or just in the awakening stages. And I'm trying my best to not alienate anyone. Hi Lynette. Welcome sister. I'm trying my best not to alienate anyone when it comes to this people. As if we call certain people sleepers for not being awake or woke. Mm. We're distancing ourselves and I know that's that's not what I'm here to do. So in, if I was just describing a short way, I'm building stuff behind the scene to not only help wake up more men, myself, like it's not just something which I'm building for myself, it's universally available for, if I was to allow a divine woman to take such content and start teaching divine females, that it would work the same way. I just need to ground it in a little bit more. like. Hmm. There's, there's still a few things which I need to do with it. Well, it's a lot of... When it comes to me, if I'm really knocking it down and getting something done and I disregard everything else, it's because I believe something big should come up. Yeah. So, in the on the side as well, um, for me personally, you can see from my post that, you know, where I've been asked to facilitate again and hold space in a, an epic group and basically... This is just, I don't know if any of you guys have experienced the, experience, experience the currency illusion or Grace is the New Black, but this is Grace is the New Black 2.0. And oh my God, every time we do it again and again, it's just, and it's only $22 for five days. Australian dollars, I yeah. believe. Which five days, six speakers. I'm nearly sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
But uh, lads, and, and the 22 euros, like seriously, we're actually going to be giving it to a charity in Tala, which is where I'm from, and we won't be getting a penny from it. So if you see it, even just the like comment on any it says that it gets more algorithm. Um, Hi Amy. Yeah, just so that it gets more of an algorithm. Just a couple of hearts on any that'd be totally appreciated. Yeah. So for the collective. So I suppose we just work with what we have, and I listen to intuition itself, and just work with that. Uh, oh my. Yeah, go with the flow, go with the flow. You're okay, you're okay. So, for the collective, <laughs> shine, 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 shine your beautiful light. Oh, okay, do, do you always do this on me? Um, stop procrastinating and stop hiding. They're actually saying stop hiding behind yourself. Mm, right. Yeah, I, I fully understand that. So, card for the collective. By the way, the cards tonight is Animal Oracle from the Archangel Animal Oracle cards from Diana Cooper and Dragons Oracle cards from the same author. So we have this swan, this is for the collective. And did I butcher that one? No, it's good, it's good. Nope. False. <laughs> So anyway, um, what this card is representing, like, you know, just standing tall, like the swan, like, you know, this way the swan, the swan is so assertive and it's so confident and it just needs to do what it needs to do and... It's beautiful too and normally, yeah, it's, just, co it's confident but normally mind is on business too, it's like... Demonstrate grace and majesty. Being a queen and... Like for most of the years, like it's most, I know mostly females watch this, so being the queen you are, but a few males be the king you are. Mm. That's, like stop hiding behind that crown. Like, like I understand, like think about this, like how many queens have you ever seen that walks like this? Oh god, no. No. There's actually, no. No. <laughs> So yeah, mm. bring a baby. All right. So I presume. Give another one for the collector, please. Okay. Masculinity is not your forefront at the minute. You need to bring in a little bit more sublimity and yes, grace. Trust yeah, you need to be kinder to yourself. Okay. Okay, so that is a little bit of elements of heart chakra and this one came out again. Give them the horse instead. All right. Mm -hmm. So this is horses, and it basically says care for others and. Set them free. Yeah, well, anyway, I'm not good at that side. There you go. So that is another card for the, yeah, for the collective. Right. Basically, okay. Basically, here's here's one thing. Which I, I'm not going to even look at the words. I'm just going to look at the imagery. So I'm going to bring it up close for all all of you. See see if you can get a good insight into that. And one thing I want to see in that is there's a big white horse, there's three horses there, but there's a big white horse, a little brown horse, and a unicorn. And the big white horse is nurturing the little brown horse, and the unicorn in the background is just B. So, in a sense, re realign your inner child, stop being too harsh on or too critical on yourself and just go with the flow once again go with the flow with love grace and trust in the unknown mm -hmm. 
surrender, surrender. Ishtana Kitata. Sorry, that just came out. Comes out, comes out. I'm not against it. So beautiful, beautiful beings for anyone that is hopping on. That's, thank you so much for the hearts. Totally, totally love it. Um, yeah, for any newbies that are on here, I'm wondering what the fuck is going on. Uh, yeah, so just let us know if you need a card or some light language or, you know, whatever. Or just say hi. Not only that itself, I actually came to, came to reason understand we, okay. There's a few, few people who, when we talk, we try to describe them, what's the light language? And we con constantly have to s describe it itself to really, I suppose, a lot of people who try to tune into it. Mm -hmm. And the one thing that came to me recently is to, it's rather calling a light language, just give it a different name called spirit language. It's language of the soul. Spirit. Spirit language, that's yes. what yeah. mm. And that... That's a um, kind of like university. Like when we talk about light language, we normally talk about different forms like fairies, unicorns, dragons, and a universally want to cover all. In my opinion, is spirit language, so which is tuned in from spirit. Again, it's something which I'm only experimenting at the moment, and yeah, just roll with it. So now we start with the cards. And um, I let's see who's the first. Just roll that down, thank you. Yeah. Okay, BG, and uh, I'm just checking everything. Right, so I we're gonna start off with uh, BG. I'm gonna butcher this name. BG as with spice, like I know you. Awesome spice. Awesome spice. I know you were the first one to say you wanted the card, so we're going to give you one, and then we're going to give the next one after okay. that, and then we work work for there. Okay. So if you want to, those two people have mentioned they like a card, and that's why I'm going to them two first. Okay. We'll try our best to cover everyone. That's. And I give you my word on that. Beachy. Live in the moment, relax, and just live in the moment, relax. Stop jumping around trying to juggle all things in the one hand and just stop and breathe. And even look up at the sky, look around you and just see. See what needs to be seen. You need to be a bit more grounded. You are overthinking my love. Okay, so for Beachy. Okay. Yeah. My feeling is I do it. So, BG, you got the Alpha Dragon. Mm. Hey, Kerry. I'm going to scroll this down. So, it's like you understand, it's like you're already in the process of creating something new and you already put down some you already have an idea of what you want to do intuition came to you giving you a guide kind of like guidelines of what you want to do next and it's a very good project itself but now it's kind of like you need to set the foundation for it you need to give live a space and time to create it and to take masculine steps towards it so when it comes to projects itself, sometimes we just need to give ourselves a structure of how we want the thing to flow. Because if we just input in an energy, it will flow everywhere. That's why I seem to notice. If we input mass in the energy, it's too, there's no room for a growth. We need a kind of like a balance of both. So 
I know myself whenever I do a live live spare channeling video in the past I normally give myself abstract concepts so I have something to flow into but I, whatever comes up comes up I just know the direction I'm going and my feeling is give yourself kind of like a skeleton to the pro the creation so give yourself the bare the bare, bare, bare minimum as a starting point and see where that takes you and my feeling is yes is to do with humanitarian but I suppose my feeling is start with understand where you're trying to create if it's going to benefit you if it's going to benefit your local com local friends family and it's going to benefit a lot of people great but I suppose the only thing I can really emphasize is how can it serve the best way mm -hmm. just give yourself time and let your intuition guide you in such a way what do you feel most drawn to when it comes to creation? Mm -hmm. And that means just writing down key notes at the start. Please do that. But my strongest argument in this case is start somewhere. And that's to say you need to start to get done is a masculine approach too. But give yourself the permission to start. Your feminine, your feminine energy kind of like backing off a bit. An Aquarian Clap in the Aries. Yeah, just get just do it. Don't think too much about it, just do it. <laughs> JFDI. JFDI. Just fucking do it. Uh hold on. Yeah, Do you like do you mind giving them Actually no, I'll do it. I was thinking light language? Spirit channel, but I have a feeling that it's not from you, it's more so from me as the willpower. Yeah. So, hold on to your seats, lads. No, I'm just saying that from experience because when D William does his light language, my knees usually start wobbling, and that's a good thing because something has been activated. Excuse me, carry on. So, Tune into your values, your identity, your true essence. Relax. Don't sink too much into your mind. Your body knows. Your soul knows. Your emotions now. Why are you tune into your mind only? It's only a conditional process. Believe in yourself. I do. Okay, that's that's me done for beachy awesome spice. I hope that resonates for you. I hope the light the spirit channeling is powerful for you. I'm going to move on to then. No, no, no. I'll let you have anything else then. No. Okay. You're still channeling. That's why I'm being short for you. Yes, understood. Well, I mean, I'm in. I'm no longer grounded mode, I'm in, I'm kind of like both at the same time. Yes. So, trust you. Okay, so who's up here? I can't read that. Lynette, next. I said okay. to do Lynette next. So. Okay. Lynette. There's something about the light language that's on fire tonight, it just it's coming out, it wants to come out in droves. Spirits certainly want to get a lot of messages 
um, across to you guys tonight, which is which is all perfect. Why not feel sad? So, Lynette. Okay, Lynette, I'm sensing that you have gone through an awful lot of troubles of late. Yeah, that's why you're picking up the sadness, when you? The family experience is still troubling you as well as quote-unquote soul sisters experience has troubled you too. And they still dominate your mind. And... They caused they caused you to be constantly in your mind. And it's you can't speak it. You can text it but you, you can't really speak it. It's like Sad the sadness that comes with it. It's complete grief, heartache, pain after pain after pain. I can only say, the only thing I can say about this is when we're tapping into what it means to be spiritual divine feminine essence, we are retraining our complete sovereignty, our mind, our body, our emotions to be fully receptive and I know to be open that much is absolutely painful because there's so many cold hearted, blood hearted people. Medication doesn't help either. Wherever, if you're, yeah, medication doesn't help, they only use to numb. And Do you want me to take over? No, no. Okay. I will only say two things about it, and then I'm going to pass it back to you for a web message you okay. would love to pass. Okay. For the Christian teachings itself there's christian had jesus had a consort called mary mary magnet and i refer to her as the divine feminine christ consciousness so when it comes to unconditional love empathy all that i will really want you to forgive yourself for not providing the space to experience these properly before in the sense that your understanding wasn't there and the only reason the understanding wasn't there was because pardon me of the upbringing you had or the way other people perceived and when you were open there were people who made a shut down completely again I want to, you to forgive yourself to, to, for going through that experience itself, for being in so much pain when you open to everyone. Yes, you can love, have past empathy, have forgiveness for everyone. You can select who you invite into your field. And that's what I would call self-care. It's good to be receptive, but when you pick up just a tiny bit of negative energy you pull back away from such people 
If key people give you negative vibes, trust your feelings going down is dipping and get stay away from it. And every time you have not done that in the past, it's okay. It was a learning experience itself. And sure, even if you went through it 20 times, and you had to relearn the same thing 20 times. My belief is we tend to relearn the same things until we understand the concept of what they're trying to teach us. So until we learn the lesson and then move past it, do we do we keep repeating the lesson? So it's okay you pass love, pass empathy, pass grace to everyone and being in your defined feminine essence and being the absolute badass witch that I feel you love to call yourself. You open yourself up to now invite people back in but now I want you to put a standard for yourself to protect yourself that those who do not accept you for who you are as a witch to leave your field you have that power if people do not treat you, treat you with the respect if people do not treat you with the respect you deserve please walk away walking away is not ill discipline it's something that your soul really needs it's okay. Yeah. I'm gonna stop there. That's okay. May I interfere? Yeah. So, my intuition, my dear, is that source is asking that we do a polarity, light language uh, boundary for your third eye and your throat chakra. Hmm. So all I ask is that you're open to receive and I'll, I'll proceed you don't need to understand it with your with your ears just listen with your heart and know that it's for your highest and best intentions Nana Sina Kanate Ekata, Oshina Kirita Akata. Your third eye and your throat chakra, they're saying, is interlinked. So just imagine that there's a chord between Nana Sina Koshita Kari Ita Kata, Nana Sina Kanatin Tata. Ishtana Kirita Sudatana Tiga Tata. It's all good, it's all good. So good. Trust. Let. Sometimes expressions come from the body, so it's okay to. The amount of times you cried, it's okay. The amount of times your body expressed, it's down. It's not feeling the best. Is okay. And when you let your body express itself in the way it needs, then things can improve for it even if your mind doesn't fully know how we didn't even give a card Do no you need it? yeah i don't i don't feel no it's not needed i don't feel a card is absolutely necessary and i know you're looking for a card we covered it <laughs> amy amy is that okay amy right let's see let's see You're welcome, Linda. Okay. Amy. Okay, they're saying you need to stop sitting on the bench and just trying to observe all that's going on. There's only so much information you can digest. You just need to make a fucking decision and go with it. Okay. 
two days. Okay, give it to her, please. Can you see that, Amy? Oh, the turtle. This is for Amy. <laughs> Lynette, so much love, my dear. And is any one of you lads like if you just want to reach out for a more in-depth reading, that's fine. But on the other hand, if you're a little confused about what we said, of course send us a match message. Right. Mm. The turtle is someone who takes who takes the time taking little steps at a time. And it's kind of like, hmm, right, it's connected to dolphins in the background, don't we? I am being drawn to the back of this one. Oh. I want you to really, okay, no, wrong one. Trust your intuition, oh please. Let your emotions guide you in the direction you use. You have a lot of information in front of you and you can't seem to pick which one is best and you can't like, approach it in a masculine way. I want you to tune into what really is gripping you emotionally. So emotionally, spiritually, physically and bodily. No, I see, yeah, I said that. Physically, emotionally, spiritually, and mentally grabbing it. Not just mentally. Mentally is only one of four areas. And when you let yourself swim through the ocean, swim through the unknown territory, and just trust the pathway, you have a strong backbone. There's no doubt about that. And all you have to do is trust the unknown Trust your intuition and let that guide you. And you be if you do that and trust yourself, you'd be able to reach the depths of the ocean like the struggle has. At the moment you're just looking at things on a surface layer. But if you want to go dive in, the only masculine thing I can say about this is dive in. But then let your intuition guide you to what direction you need to go. I have a feeling that in the context of what you're dwelling upon, it's new territory. It's familiar as in the, the theoretical concepts, but to bring practical practicality to them, you need to, you feel you need guidance, but you already have it within. And trust, trust that divine love has your back. It's it's going through the back and when we kind of like look at the way the body is shaped it's like the center area which is the heart chakra so rather than doing things with I need to do it because I need to do it it's more so case I could do this with love and grace and if you to take that path and trust it you'd be more happy that's my feeling down here do you, okay. add, do you want to add to it? Yeah, we have a troll. There we go. From my understanding with the turtle is goddamn determination and up against so much like challenges so if you were to relate that in in perspective to your life you're talking about so much adversity so much um you know modalities that seem to be in your way but you can overcome this definitely 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 you can overcome this so it might seem like a hard old journey but you are well equipped and you're well capable to do it so I do hope that resonates. Let me know. I was going to go here to Lindsay Evans, but Lindsay Evans removed her comments. Did she? Yeah. She, okay. she was looking for a car reading, but we didn't get to her in, I suppose, okay. in her time. So, Carrie Louise, are you still there? 
If you're still there, we I give you we can give you a card reading. I want to move here and if anyone else would like a card reading, please let us know. Yeah. Uh, William, you have the eyes for that. <laughs> Amy, it's any thanks. You're very welcome, it sweetheart. It resonated. You're very welcome. Right, Kerry Louise is still here. Okay. I just want to scroll this down. Okay. Right. Doesn't seem to. It's kind of like it's your choice. Okay. Alright, you've no idea what I was talking about, that's all. No, 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 it's a good thing. Uh. I was trying to... I was trying to figure out how to order but they're saying you are blatantly standing in your own way yeah I just want to do this any trolls that have recently say inbox me for our readings we've blocked them at the moment and I'm just trying to roll through that for anyone who's wondering we are not we have not worked with anyone to say okay can you work with us to give a card read if we had have done that in advance we would have you would see them you would see their face in some shape or form. We wouldn't work with anyone who's not bringing up willing to bring themselves to life camera. Okay, so Kerry. Okay. Her energy's beautiful. Hmm. I was just saying she's she's blatantly blatantly in her own way. That's the message I'm getting from from source. Awesome. You're authentic. Well done. Where are you picking this up from? I just says something. All right. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I need to backtrack. Ish don't kill it, son. I cannot eat it. I wish to kill it. I eat it. I wish to kill it. I eat it. I eat it. I eat it. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are loved. You are seen. You are seen. You are seen. You are heard. You are so genuine that we have no, no uh, hidden agendas. We have no. No bad word to say about you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Again, they're saying onwards and upwards, onwards and upwards. Why wouldn't we support such a beautiful, beautiful divine soul like you? Okay. Oof. Ugh. Right, you're good at the one over there, so. Dog. Okay, no, the, the words there don't let us know, so I'm going to... Your heart chakra's open. It's, it's complete. That's what I'm, that's what I'm picking up on, is the, it's the heart chakra, which is the center one that balances everything else, is completely open. It's... Complete loyalty to a fault, and okay. One sec. No, Lynette. There's a troll. I just there's a troll that wanted to inbox you for a private reading, and they were going to say some sort of crap. You had entities. You know, yeah, you need to pay up for some sort of crap. It's spir it's spiritual. Satire. What is that? People vampirize in spirituality. That's all I'm gonna say. But it's all good. You need to focus. Yeah. Yeah. You're loyal to a fault, and all people really need to do is just let you be yourself. And everything will be smooth. The energy is is very beautiful itself, and 
almost to the point where you can work with others really well and it's fan energy is flowing you're just being it's like holy damn wow. the only thing that's yeah the only thing that I'm sensing is that you want but you don't need it is some other people more of people who want to support you compliment you in your life it's like for example like I would strongly suggest let's just say you're maybe you may be looking for a partner but at the same time you're content in your current environment in your current way of being you don't need a man but you're not going to write one, a quality one and I'm presuming this if you don't have one already that's my interpretation you already have everything you're content you're just being you you're divine fen fen himself you're the you're being and i'm speechless <laughs> that's the only way i could put it it's blissful yeah yeah i'm gonna let you take over because i'm i'm speechless <laughs> Wait, give me a second no wonder i took i took that from dragon deck all right <laughs> Yeah, okay. Let your music come out. That we took that from Dragon Deck. Let your music come out and time to embody more love for yourself. Like whole You can't just, go ahead. Just as nice as you are, you need to be a little bit cautious about leeches. Yeah, people that are kind of, do you want to take advantage of it? So you just need to set your boundaries in that department. So if you're, like I know I'm going to say this and it's a truth, truth be told, some people are interested, some women are interested in men, some women are interested in women. So what the fuck is that dog no be disciplined in your home and community life That's... yeah no the words didn't resonate the words didn't, i was like yeah no ignore that yeah no don't, don't all right sorry, don't sorry. thank you right. leech is like if you i'm gonna i'm gonna say from a man's perspective itself like if you're i'm presuming that you're into men yourself so if you've if you are interested in men, let your heart open up so you can accept a divine masculine. Let the man, divine masculine be divine masculine. But if you find out someone is an emasculated man, so a man who's probably would call himself a nice, a nice man or a good man, in the sense of he does things that he should do, not because he wants to, that's not for you. Well, at the same time, macro man, so very high aggressive, very aggressive masculine men in an unhealthy way, the ones that just want to dominate for the sake of dominating, are not for you either. So yes, I can understand where your cautious will come from. And yes, put your love for yourself before anyone else. Love everyone else as you love yourself. And let your intuition guide the, the guy for you. That's that's presuming that you're into men and you're looking for that. If you're not, hmm. you're doing very well. This experience is not going to hold you back. I can promise you that. I I've I see good things beautiful things I, I'm just speechless why the hell did he give that up I don't know mm, there's a compliment but a compliment you deserve my love so may I ask can we yeah yeah okay so I need to know who's wax 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 will I am wax <laughs> before we do love you too Lynette Lynette thank you so much I don't know Tanya Dixon okay 
because I'm just finding my energy is starting to drain. I don't know about you. Yeah, it's like very powerful potent energies tonight. Yeah. That okay. that hard chakra energy just took it away from me. I was like, yeah, how did? Tanya. Okay. Observation and yeah, when it comes to your listening skills, observation and following your intuition. There's something about sanitizing, I don't know what that is. Cleanse? OCD? Overcleaning? All I got was sanitizing, I don't want to read too much into it, so um, unless you're picking up from anything. No, that word came to you for a reason. Mm. I just don't know yet, love, so give me a minute. <sighs> Maybe the animal would tell you. Hmm? Oh yeah. Michelle's no, we didn't do yeah, Michelle Stiffer. No. Just hold it for me. Okay, now I get it. Alright, what is that? Okay. Sanitize your mind. You sanitize your hand, you're following instructions, you... Yeah, you sanitize your hand because you feel you have to do stuff. I want you to relax into your body again and trust your body, your intuition, your emotions, rather than just listen to your mind all the time. You can sanitize your hands all you want, but it won't clean up your mind. Oof. Oof. Right. That is it. Poof. So, anyway. And yes, everyone everyone who normally tunes in normally understand the difference between knowledge and wisdom. At the end of the day, you have the wisdom inside. You just ignore it. You seem to sweep it away. Listen to the news. Getting caught up with drama. And you clean yourself all the time due to... Relatively close to a fear idea of what happens if I catch COVID. <clears throat> now, when it comes to COVID itself, I encourage you to do your research on it. That's the first thing I would ever encourage. Don't take my word or anyone else's word for it. My personal opinion on it is, in the bigger hindsight, it's covering up a lot of things. They're using it as a misleading tool. There is something there. I'm not too sure if it's the common cold or how dangerous it is or... I'm not saying don't worry. I'm saying look into it and see what's necessary for you. My feeling is... Okay, my feeling is COVID is not what people think it is. There's... From everything I learned in the past eight months, you have a chance of dying from COVID in the same ratio as the common cold. You have a 0.0001% chance of dying from it. And yes, I know it's infectious. I know you can pass on from people to people, and there's probably thousands of people dying. You don't want to have no one to. Switch it off. Stop listening to it. It is, um... Sanitize your mind of COVID. They take a break. Switch off all medias. Get off social media and clean your, up your mind. Do what you need to do for you. Sometimes... I okay. mean... Give us one sec, one. Yeah. Tell her that we said that sometimes from some... Some energies that you're watching on the telly, you actually absorb that into your particles. So you need to be a little bit cautious about that as well. Does that make sense? Hmm. Hello. I was just reading that. Oh yeah, okay. When you tune into the news or tune into anything, you tend to pick up from it. And then sometimes when we don't get rid of it or we don't clear it up, sometimes it gets stuck or stagnate. And so it's the butterfly. Takes two weeks. 
and give yourself a cleansing. Oh, that's why. Now I know. All right. <sighs> Honestly, not my reading. I don't stress about slight things like that. Don't watch an extra reading. Okay, cool. Oh, no, no. Oh, so nice. Yeah, but is there people talking about it in your local environment? Because I I don't watch it myself often, but I know I hear I hear it all the time, and as I know the local environment, I pick it up from other people that are constantly worried about it. Yeah, and social distancing is still a thing. It's called energy vampires. Yeah, if people drain you down about COVID, just distance yourself. Take the time for yourself. I'm not saying don't listen to. All right. Um, so why why sanitize? We got sanitize and the butterfly. Yeah, transformation. Self care. Just take time to take care of yourself. Other than that, I don't know. My feeling is you know. Give me a minute. Okay. Okay. Ishtana kinatana ekata, shona kidita, akata, shona kidatana ekata. Okay, so what they're actually saying is you're going from, you're going through such a transformation, yes, you do need to clean up what you are um, observing around you, and it's not necessarily you, but I'm getting home. And getting home you could be you could be over over inundated with emails you could be inundated with a big clutter of a mess in the corner you could be inundated with uh just a press that needs a, a good fucking cleared now but go from i'm seeing go from a cocoon to a butterfly and transformation but if you're not conscious of The negativity around it, it's going to hold you back. Yeah, that's what I'm picking up. Okay. If there's the last thing I could advise is let go of control of the little details. So, some people call it micromanage. If you can avoid doing that, please do that. You, not, you'll feel better about it if you to not do it. Yes, some things you need to understand to the bare minimum details what goes on but with everything you don't need to know that with everything and I suppose in your low home local environment yes it's your home yes it's up to you to decide what goes on for you there but either way like if it doesn't resonate right tonight it might click in with you during the week no. or so thank you like I'm alright okay <laughs> something, something like something, something along those lines like all right, William, I'm going to be totally honest with you here. My energy is really, really zapping. So one more. One more? Me. Okay. Right, so who's... Right, so I'm going to give you a choice of two people. And I'm going to let your intuition decide you. Okay, Lynette. Lots, lots, lots of love and light. And I hope you really have a blessed night. Thank you so much, my love. You have a choice of two people. Yes. You have Robert here. Yes. Which I'm not sure if he's here, but that's a choice. Or you got Michelle... What's her name? Michelle Steffler. And she's there. I'm all around in the middle, because I can't read that. No one's there. Okay, cool. So... Robert, um... Actually, here's what we can do. You take one, I'll take the other. If that's what your intuition calls. Okay, on call to Michelle. So if you could... Look after Robert. Oh, okay. I time and time is oh, not on my side. Right, Robert. I do apologize, but not tonight. <laughs> Michelle, we're gonna go with you. And lads, if you were on Monday to Friday, so check out our pages. Check out William's page, my page, and yeah, be rest assured that there's some sort of goodiness for his um. Money to radio on a daily basis. Now, I'm going to go with Michelle 
So if anyone else wants to log off, we totally appreciate it. And we shall see you next week. So have a lovely weekend. Michelle, if you can hang on, my dear. Yeah, so That'd I'm be brilliant. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop it live everywhere else. Yeah. So I hope for everyone else have a brilliant evening, brilliant, blessed night. Thank you for being here. And Michelle, please stay here. So lots of love and light to everyone.